Adding a new identity provider is a process for the configuration based on two elements. One is the Microsoft Azure element that I'm using here as an identity provider example. And the other is the Smart Console. So we start with Microsoft Azure by searching for an application that is supporting Summer. And as I'm just using it as a demo, I'm using an application, for example, that is part of the education portfolio. And I like the pink elephant. As I have no intention to access this application in real, I just use it as a demo. What I'm doing here is I'm creating an application object in my Azure Active Directory services. And this application object is then trusted inside my Microsoft Azure Active Directory infrastructure. What I need to do is I need to define the single sign-on settings. And we keep in mind that by default, the application is created without allowing us to learn groups. So first, I'm changing this to add a group claim so that the summer tokens that are issued here includes the security groups that I have defined in my Active Directory. And if I check the attributes that are supported here, I don't see the attribute that we do support in Checkpoint. So in Checkpoint, we only support the group underscore attribute. This means I need to customize it and call it group underscore attribute. So I save it. I'll go back to my application and I now see that group attribute is reflecting users and groups. So the users and groups that I would like to allow in this application, it will be my vendor B. And now I have everyone in vendor B assigned. Who is part of vendor B? Well, it's one user and it's user Mary Morning. And now I need to fill in these fields here above. These fields are getting filled as soon as I create a new identity provider. I do select my gateway and I, and I select the identity awareness plate. Now the system had generated a URL and this is the URL of the captive portal. I copy the identifier. I go to the Microsoft Azure configuration and simply paste the identifier here. And now I go back to the portal. I copy the reply URL. And click on save. Now I need to download the Federation XML data successfully downloaded because this includes the certificate that I now import. And I have completed the configuration for the identity service provider, the Microsoft Azure Active Directory. What I now need to do is I need to configure the security gateway, the identity awareness access portal. This is the URL that I have defined. 
and I need to define the authentication settings away from username password to use the Azure Active Directory service provider. Note that external user profiles is selected because all users defined here are part of an external user profile. They are not internal to the gateway and they are not part of an LDAP server. So what we need to do is we need to tell the checkpoint management server that user profiles outside of the management server are existing. And for this, we need to go to the configuration of the smart dashboard because the external user profile can only be created here. And this is documented in the Identity Awareness Administration Guide. So what you do is you go to Blades. For example, you open the smart dashboard here. You go to the user's configuration, click on external user profiles. You have a right click here. And you say a new profile to match all users. You leave it to generic. And now the system has created a generic user profile. You save and you close. We have a security policy where we defined a rule where smart workers, and these are users of the smart worker group and developers, can access this IP address using this application signature. So this is an application signature that is matching by all services defined under the matching settings of application control. So application control signatures will match by default on these services. We have defined that users need to authenticate against the captive portal. And because we are using application control, we define the track settings to be detailed log. Otherwise, application control would not be executed here. So our smart worker access role, we defined it to match for two user groups, the smart workers and the developers. But let's see what these users are. The developers are internal users, Alice and Bob, and the smart worker is even an internal user. So how can we represent our Microsoft Azure group the vendor B group that we would like to use. If we want to do so, we need to copy the object ID of vendor B. And we define a new identity tag that is representing the Microsoft Azure group For vendor B. Create a new access hall. And here we select based on the identity tag the Azure vendor. We leave the machine dimension to any we leave the VPN client to any, we save, and we replace the object referring to the internal users with our Azure 
access role object that is referring to the Azure Active Directory users. We can publish the policy and then install. While we are installing the security policy, we review the Microsoft Azure configuration. So here in this group, we have a member, which is our user, Mary Morning. So her logon ID is Mary at NGTP demo EU. So let's make sure we don't forget things. So we have Mary at NGTP demo EU. And of course, she has some kind of password that is defined in the Microsoft Azure environment. We can reset the password. Let's do this. This is her temporary password. We see that currently there are no devices associated with this user and the authentication method is not requiring multi-factor or any other conditional access. Log on to the smart portal you get a redirect to the Microsoft portal. This is a transparent redirect to authenticate against Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So I use the temporary password generated by Microsoft to sign in. And I even can define my password. So as we work here in a demo, however, we try to make things not too easy for hackers. So I could even update my password, but I have now access and authenticated to the security gateway and we see a logon has been performed with an identified IP address this user the authentication method has been the identity provider and we are matching a group that is represented by the UUID of the object in the Azure Active Directory. The UUID is of course used in the identity tag object representing the Azure Active Directory group.